When I recorded this video here that you're listening to now, uh, I had previously done a lot of work on UV tools. And of course, soon after recording a slew of videos going over UV tools, Maya had an update and the UV editor and a lot of the tools changed dramatically. And so a lot of my videos on that topic became rather uh, outdated or just old and not really necessary. So I kind of haven't been going back over UVs in a while. But I thought I might go ahead and do a couple here going forward. So in this video, I wanted to talk about a UV tool. If I go to the UV menu and open up the UV editor. There we go. And here in the UV editor, mine might look a little different than yours because I have some custom things set up. But essentially, I wanted to look at the Create section down here in the UV Toolkit. If you're not familiar with the UV Toolkit, you can find it under Tools. And while mine says Hide, yours would say Show. UV toolkit, it should show up. And if you need to, you can dock it into your UI here. But under create, you'll see we have several different options. I do have a video going over planar uh, UV mapping, which I feel like is pretty much the same as it always has been. Um, but I thought I might look at some of these other ones. And so I'd start with camera based. Camera based. And you see here a little tooltip here shows up. It says create UV texture coordinates for the selected object using the current camera view as the plane of projection. Okay, And we can go into options as well. You can see we can shift, left click to go into options, that button there for camera based or under create menu up here, camera based options there as well, same thing. And we only have really one option which is to create a new UV set when we were to create this camera based projection. And if we did, we can name that UV set here. I'm going to turn it back off for now and hit close. So, relatively simple. So what does that mean exactly? Let me close this. And I, I like to go to the Panels menu, Save Layouts, and choose the Perspective slash UV Editor Save Layout. So I can see the UV Editor over here on the right and my model or whatever it is on the left. So, I'm just going to open up an example model. Give me a second. So here, I have this shape and it's essentially a, a kind of a pipe that goes along a path like this and comes back up so traditionally you know if you were to want to uv map this it could be kind of a pain you know and a lot of times a lot of people would go to say the automatic uv unwrap and you kind of get this kind of result with all these uv shells kind of all over the place let me undo that but using camera projection it makes this process much easier and let me show you how this especially works well with tube shapes like this um, and other shapes as well, but here we go. I'm going to select this object and go to create camera based. And you'll notice that the UV shell that gets created, this UV layout, is from the same camera angle that I'm looking at it. So the camera projects a ray, so to speak, through the object and it's like an x-ray. It shows up here as UVs. Now that alone is not exactly useful. You know, we don't want to leave it like this. But using camera projection, like so, does a number of things. Number one, it gets rid of all UV seams. The only seams I have are where the U this pipe is open on the end. But other than that, there are no seams on this model now. So I can now go about making sure that I have my seams where I want them to be. To just show a different example, let me just make a sphere. And you'll see where these bright white edges are. That's the seams or the, the borders of this UV shell. So along the poles especially, you can see all these little triangle shapes have all these seams here. And of course the one going up the side. So if I were to select a sphere in object mode and go to create camera based, same idea. But you notice there are now no longer any seams anywhere, so I can go about making my own, okay? So it's a really handy way of removing a lot of uh, extraneous UV seams. Just bam, they're all gone, okay? Because I did a UV projection from the camera. So now I want to cut the seam where I want it to be. So in this case, I right-click and hold and choose Edges. And let's just say I select the inside edge loop here, just double-click it. All the edges along that same loop get selected. And then I can go to the cut and sew menu 
and say cut. So now I've created a seam along that edge loop that I've designated. Okay, so now I have a seam cut in. If I did have caps on this, I would go. I would cut around the caps as well. But since I don't have caps, they're empty uh, openings. I don't have to worry about that. I'll go to the tools, show UV toolkit. It's the UV toolkit, very handy. You'll see there's lots of different stuff in here. I can expand and collapse these different areas. But I'll go to the unfold section. And with my model selected, with my seams cut in, I can say unfold. And immediately I get a relatively laid out straight UV shell for this actual strangely patterned pipe. As opposed to doing that automatic unwrap where I have all these different sections I now have to piece together and make it straight. Because usually you want to have these things straight for texturing purposes. It's laid out relatively straight. Then I can just select an edge here on the inside of my UV shell and say straighten shell. It's not exactly straight yet. That's okay. I can start to kind of manipulate this a little bit. You know, there's also, if I wanted to, I can grab the shell and say straighten UVs. And that'll actually go through the process of actually straightening it completely. And there we go. This uh, relatively complex UV job has now become much, much simpler. I can place it here on my grid if I wanted to, wherever I want it to be. So yeah, using camera-based UV projection, you get a really nice starting point where you have no seams. That then you can go through and cut the seams you want and do this unfold button or optimize or layout, whatever it is, to create your UV layout for that object relatively quickly. Keep in mind, if you have non-manifold geometry and things like that, weird polygonal stuff happening, <laughs> this may not work exactly the same. You want to make sure you have a clean model when you're doing this. But overall, though, the project from camera feature I, I use quite often to get this kind of result so I can UV something like this really quickly. Uh, for Again, for the option, all it means is as far as going to create camera-based options, it says, do you want to create a new UV set when you do this camera projection? And UV sets can be found up here under the UV set uh, menu. You can create multiple UV sets. This one has one, excuse me, uh, map one here, and if I could create an empty UV set here, and now we have map one and then a basic blank UV set. So there's nothing in here. So if you wanted to, when you did your camera projection, instead of using the current UV set, it makes a new one instead, and then applies this camera-based projection there, you can do that. Um, usually, I don't use multiple UV sets that often, very rarely. So there's only a few times, and usually it's when I'm dealing with uh, uh, Unreal, for example, uses a second UV set for creating uh, shadow maps and things like this. Uh, lighting, light maps, that's what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, I don't. otherwise, I pretty much keep it as one UV set. But there are, of course, exceptions and different reasons for why you'd have multiple UV sets. But that would be the option there. But anyway, otherwise, there are no other options or settings for that camera-based projection. Again, it uses your camera, so you can be, you know, you can be uh, clever about it and get a particular angle, you know, that you want to get. Like, just for another example, let me show you something. So here we have this kind of tombstone model here. And, this, and we have these little bits here of, like, chunks coming out of the tombstone. This has already been UV map, but if I wanted to, you know, make sure that... You know, this section I wanted to get a nice UV layout for. You know, if I did like a create automatic, you know, it gives me these different chunks and pieces, you know, like this. I have to then piece together. Or I can just angle my camera so I'm kind of looking at it head on and go to create camera based, like so. And then under show UV toolkit and go to unfold. And there we go. It gets just kind of really quickly get a good layout for that chunk of concrete or whatever it is that I wanted to create a little simple piece of uh, UV for, for, you know, debris or whatever. So just, you know, angling your camera just right and then hitting that button, same with this piece here, for example, that's all obviously it's already been done, but I can angle my camera, create camera based, there it is, unfold, optimize a couple times and there we go, yeah, ready to go. So really quick. So I just really, really uh, find this projection method, you know, 
very handy, and I want to make sure that I share that with you. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and maybe learn something new about camera-based projection for UVs. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you have any suggestions for future video topics, please let me know as well. And I look forward to talking to you later.